please watch the video before commenting for the love of Lucifer. The Harvest Moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to celebrate it in the Ring of Wrath. It's a charming little festival with games and music. The Wrath Ring, huh? Well, my employees are from there. You just gave me an idea. Hello everyone and welcome back. Obviously now we're going into another hot take. You guys see there's a, uh, a massive circle. This is a Venn diagram. Uh, obviously what we're doing here is obviously if you guys watched my previous episode, which of course will be in the top right hand corner right about now, where we actually looked into the overlords and what sin they represent. So now this is a follow up video because obviously I do believe, and this is my speculation, is my speculations only, that the circles of hell, the nine circles, gluttony, lust, greed, anger, heresy, violence, fraud, treachery, and limbo are all in Pentagram City. Um, I've asked, basically, I've told Blue Raven this, and he more likely agrees. So what we're going to be doing here is obviously we're going to be looking through all of them. So right now we're going to start off, of course, the main man himself, Lucifer. So let me just get onto him. Let me just bring him down. And he will more likely be at the center. Bring him down because it's got also going to be, uh, we also need a um, thing for Lilith. So she will also be in the center because obviously, King, Queen, Hell, they got to be together. So let me just quickly grab a little. Okay, there we go. And Charlie just looks like a massive, massive double zombie. There we go. Okay, so now we've got Lucifer and Lilith in the center. So that way, because obviously they are in the center of hell, so they've got to control everything. Uh, now, we move on to the main block. So we're going to go on with Batwoman slash Hikate. I said that she is the person of gluttony. Because obviously it relates to hunting, etc. Because obviously one of the Variations is ultimate. So let me just bring that down and put her right above Lonnie. There we go. Cool. Okay. Uh, now we're on to. I'm going to move on to Zestial, so we're doing. Again, I have so many layers on this image. Okay, again, again, this is really going to be for the, the video, so then I'm going to get a good bit. Put down the icon. And he is the person of greed. In the center. Yeah. So let's put him above greed there. Now, next of course is Missy Zilla slash Astrato. Right, her. Right, Wrath does not have a particular field, or does not have a circle, but violence does. So she will be right. That means it looks like they're actually in their circle. Okay, so now we've got the main five out of the way. So now we're moving on to the uh, lower variations. So obviously, we've still got lust, we've got limbo, we've got anger, we've got heresy, we've got fraud, we've got treachery. And I've had, I've obviously in the actual book of Dante's Inferno, treachery is the frozen wasteland. So apparently no one may be controlling that again. Speculation. So let's move on to Vox. 
as I speculated in my previous video, again, card in the top right hand corner, that he is a greed breeder, obviously greed involving wanting more power. He is a greedy bastard. So for him, he would be somewhere in between. So he would be right about here. More, yeah, so obviously in between greed and gluttony, so as well, be two more hidden sins. So, uh, now we move on to Valentino. So that way, I can get all the big names out of the way, we can get the triple B's out of the way. Downside, there we go. Right, since he set the kill last team, but he also has quite a lot of anger. He would be here. In this circle. But again, we don't we don't know whether or not well obviously Lilith is the lost team, she would control more of the lost sector. The thing is like we they have they have to control all the nice circles. Which I do believe there are districts, so it comes into that speculation. Right now, we're on to Velvet. About her. Yeah, you guys can see me do this quite a lot. So I put her down as a gluttony. Also has a bit of greed, so I would think she'll be fine. And she does also have some fuss because she's considering that she's mostly with Valentino and for Sparks, so she would be somewhere in between. So she would be right here. I know, uh, guys, this is rather complicated. But it's the only way for me to actually get around this, around this video, in order to get it out uh, for you guys to be more entertained. Right. So now we're moving on to Alistair. All right. For him, he's a bit of a mix because obviously, since he's a murderer, and he. Is much more conniving. He is between of between heresy and violence. I'm gonna be putting him here. So he is technically under Astrato's thumb. Or whoever controls heresy. But we don't know who. Okay. Now we do have we do have two base. We've got the flame boy and we have the owl. We've got and Rosie also. So I might as well do Rosie next. So let's do her. Bring her down. Obviously she says envy demon. Uh, envy demons tend to play more by um. Crucial war, but of course, since apparently now she takes over her her partner's or husband's business, which is guy so on fire. I was definitely say she is in a mix of violence, fraud, and heresy. Would be makes sense that or no, she would be in this. Well, she'd be. Should be on the border. Should be on the border of those three. How about you don't do that, please? There we go. Okay, so now we've got our boy, Flame Guy, and 
and two greys left. Go for our boy first. Red Owl. Elton John. Oh. Alton John. Hashtag Alton John in the comments, please. He is a pride, so I would more likely say he is probably in between Limbo, Gluttony and Lust. He would be somewhere around about Okay, now we're moving on to the others. Okay. So now we've got the two sloth demons. So we've got Skull Guy and we've got Two Face. Obviously with two face obviously being a sloth demon and of course it being a more dramatic kind of thing. I can probably say for certain he is in between three, three serpents. Treachery, fraud and limbo. But I would say more towards treachery and fraud. Fits into that and also fits into the violence thing. It does make sense. So now we've got now we're on to the final guy, uh, Skull Guy. We don't know much about him yet. Well, we don't know much about anything, but the rest of the other lords again. This is all pure speculation of where would they fit in the world. Obviously, more like a Skull Guy is mostly right resident of Skull Rider. So he would probably more likely be somewhere around about here. So obviously you see the brain that's on his head. Um he can cope with the cold temperatures of treachery in a sense. And also like You'll be like the first overlord you'll see up on the gates of hell. Like, he'll be the person controlling Limbo in a sense. Obviously, I didn't put Charlie on here because obviously Charlie's not needed and she wasn't in the previous video because, again, she is not needed. So that is the uh, Venn diagram for the overlords um, of what they control at this moment in time. More likely Lilith will probably be in Lost and well pretty much we will need to make the five points. That'll be interesting. But that is my hot take. If you enjoy your stay in this particular video make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell. There are links down below to my Patreon, to my Twitter, well I'm mostly there all the time. And of course there is also my Discord. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye. To hurt anyone here, I would have done so already.